Can you find the five knit patterns in Renaissance dance? And so what five knit pattern is that? B flat. B flat. Can you play B flat major five knit pattern for me? So how would this go? Can you play that for me? That's right. Now, what scale degrees would those be? What scale degrees would those be? What numbers? Five, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. So sing with me. Go. those in? Good. So what would this F be over here? What would that number be? I, Starting right there. I know that would be five. Five. That's right. So it would be five. That's a good, good idea. Put your flute down. So let's sing it. Ready? Five, 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 four, three, two, one. And what would write in those numbers, too? Uh, hey, it repeats. Yes, it repeats. Go ahead and write those in. And then write in these. Five, four, three, two, one. What would the beginning be? Like five. Mm -hmm. What about this line up here? One. One, two, three. That's right. Good. Let's sing it. One, two, three, three, four, two, three, three. One, two, three, <coughs> five, four, three. Okay, we're going to do something very tricky. You just write, wrote in the scale degrees, right? Can you play a C major five note pattern for me? Yeah, play me the five note pattern, then I would like you to play Renaissance dance <coughs> using the scale degrees in C major. Is that going to be too tricky? Okay, let me hear you do that. Transpose. So we're transposing this from B flat major 
To G flat. To G major. So B flat to G. Pretty easy stuff, right? Okay, let's hear you transpose it by looking at the scale degrees to G major. Yeah. 